While browsing the internet for some various random Chinese goodies, I saw a power supply available from a seller called TomTom. Tom. And this is a 12 volt 2 amp power supply. And in the listing, it looked like quite a robust industrial type power supply. You know, it's got the screen casing, it's got the uh, shielded terminals. And I thought, well, at £3.29, which is roughly about $4.50, less than five bucks anyway, including shipping, I thought, that's worth buying just to take to bits and see what the quality is like. And I have to say, I wasn't really, I wasn't expecting the quality to be good because um, I thought it was going to be very similar to the cheap um, USB type power supplies where the circuitry is like the smallest transformer possible, really bad insulation, no filtering, um, and um, just, you know, no proper feedback circuitry. So I bought one anyway, and uh, let's take it to bits. But initially I'll say I did an insulation test between the main side and the low voltage side, and it came out at 595 mega ohms at 1 kV. And that's that's pretty good. That's quite acceptable for isolation. So let's uh, cut this little warranty seal, and let's pop it in. and the rectifier diode, I'm guessing, are screwed to the side of the heat sink. Excuse me, wobbling the camera. It's on the table on a tripod and it's not very good at all. Oh, here we go. Now on the inside, for start, I'm seeing suppression, I'm seeing a fuse, which is good, I'm seeing a, a, a suppression choke, a common mode suppression choke there, I'm seeing a full bridge rectifier, which is also good. Um, let's get this right out and take a good look at it. Okay. Quite a fat capacitor, 33 megafarad at 400 volt. This power supply is rated 12 volts at 2 amp. Uh, that's, that's a fairly decent capacitor. So, we've got the mains in, we've got a proper earth connection onto the case. Oh, and loads of, uh, loads of, uh, yep, heat sink compound. Lovely. Um, what else we've got here? We've got, um, an opto-isolator with modestly good separation. Um, Filtration components going down here for suppression. Um, it's got the usual capacitor between the main, the high voltage side and the low voltage side, and it's got one actually to ground as well. Yep. Um, the fuse is on the neutral, which is a bit odd. That's maybe a wee bit of a slight design error, but that's okay. Um, the transformer's big, really quite chunky. I don't see any surf uh, surface mount in the back at all, and I don't see any dedicated chips. It seems to be just a fairly, a fairly simple analog type of switch mode design. It's not got anything too complex in it. The, apart from the filtering and the input, it also seems to have a choke on the output. Um, the output side of the transformer goes through that is a bridge rect, not a bridge rectifier, it's a, a pair of diodes which uh, have the two outer pins common. Uh, that's feeding, that's uh, charging this capacitor here. And then between this capacitor and that capacitor is a choke. Um, which will provide good filtering on the DC side as well. It's nice to see that. So, so far, um, this looks a fairly decent little power supply. 
I I have had it powered up, um, and it. Uh, although I've not loaded it fully at the full 12 volts, 2 amps, offload the little adjustment, the potentiometer here for adjusting, allowed me to adjust the output voltage from 11.45 volts to 13.45 volts, which is a fairly decent range. It's biased slightly in the higher voltage direction, probably to allow for um, compensation of long cable runs to your load, but it's nice that you can turn it below the 12 volts by over half a volt because um, if you're running LEDs off it, which I think is more or less what this is really designed for, it's designed for large LED arrays, um, by nudging the voltage down you can save the life of your LEDs and just nudge the brightness back a little bit on them, which is uh, good as well. So you know, for £3.29, this little power supply outwardly seems actually pretty good. Um, I'm surprised. I'm surprised the component count inside, and that it's not just been the cheapest possible power supply they could do. Um, it, it does appear to be quite well soldered. Uh, it appears to have proper feedback circuitry. It, it just... Uh, why is it so cheap? I mean, it didn't explode when I plugged it in. Is it just because um, it's a really mass-produced device that they can keep the cost down? Um, I don't know, but uh, so you know, outwardly for LED use, uh, I wouldn't really be against using one of these for in built-in equipment um, for powering some LEDs, like any other application where people are going to be handling the output circuitry. I, I wouldn't really consider anything cheap from China. I'd cover myself by buying a proper power supply, uh, like a, a proper bona fide meanwhile power supply, but um, for a general lighting application where it's low risk that the user's not meddling around the wiring, I'd say this looks as though it could be quite good. Yeah, that's pretty impressive.